Thank you. Good evening. Hello, everyone. I will play a piano program for you tonight with a variety of music style. There's a lot of uh, there's some piano pieces, uh, concert pieces, as well as some popular music. And it's essentially a piano recital. And uh, I'm happy to be on this stage because it's a great opportunity to perform and share uh, some beautiful music with you. And uh, it's going to be uh, like a 45 minute show. And I will start with a slow piece. Uh, which is an unusual piece to start a concert in a ship. But, uh, this uh, is a slow piece by Mozart that has gradually, it, there is an increasing and a crescendo throughout the show. Uh, let's start with the first piece, uh, Fantasy in D minor by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And then I will play some popular and alternate classical and popular. So it's an enjoyable concert. Thank you.
That was uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, uh, a piece for solo piano, Fantasia, that was unfinished at Mozart's death, and uh, the last ten measures, when it was, they were completed by uh, one of his admirers, which is me. Not really. No, at, the, at his time, it was completed by one of his admirers. Uh, now, let's see. Have you had already dinner? Are you in a rush? No? Okay, so I will take it easy and uh, I will see. Some pieces I will read off my tablets, because uh, I don't know if you can see, but I got two tablets, one uh, when I read all the things that I prepared, and one where I read all the, 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 the scores, and some of the pieces I will play by memory. Like, for example, the next one by Frédéric Chopin, Grand Waltz Brillante, Frédéric Chopin, you know, the Polish composer, from Warsaw, he lived also in Paris, France, in Mallorca Island and Scotland, I believe. And he composed many waltzes as well as other pieces. So I will play this uh, waltz opus 18 in E flat major.
Thank you, thank you. I was Frederick Chopin once, so I start with Mozart from the 18th century. Chopin, 19th century, so we go in chronological order as well, so things are less confusing this way. Let's see, next. Well, sometimes I don't know how it's announced on the pad of this show, but sometimes I try to play music from around the world. Uh, I, I give the title music from around the world. I don't know if we did it now, but uh, trying to cover music from all over the world. Uh, songs uh, from each, I mean, not each country, except uh, maybe Iraq, Iran, this kind of stuff. But I try to play international music. Some, For example, the next one I want to play a song from Mexico. There is uh, something lively and fun and playful to play. to France. I want to play a piece by French composer. You, may, you know which French composer I might, I might be playing? Exactly. But here's the thing. I'm not going to play what you are thinking by Debussy, which is Claire de Lune, right? You, many of you are thinking. So I will play now a piece by Debussy, a piano solo suite in six movements, but I will not play all six movements, I will only play the first one. This is called, uh, the suite is called Children's Corner, and has six pieces, all in English title, because Debussy dedicated to his daughter, and um, they are not meant to be played by kids, by the way, but they are uh, evocative of childhood and some of his daughter's toys. And uh, yes, it's a beautiful piece by Impressionist composer, French composer Claude Debussy from Children's Corner Suite, first piece, Dr. Gradus Apparnas. Too many information that you won't be able to retain.
you thank you thank you beautiful piece did you enjoy it how am i doing so far it's okay um yeah some music i read off uh, some uh, something by memory sometimes people ask me how do i provide all the sheet music and the music score and electronic format and how do i upload and download the secret google yeah, yeah? like anything else and something that got it for free but something now let's go back into some popular music and I decided to put a couple songs by, you know what I'm talking about, the band that everybody plays. Songs by the band that everybody plays. Which one? Beatles, exactly. Let's see this couple songs. <laughs> but before I, I, I need to drink some water. It's my first time that I bring my, a bottle of water on a stage like this. So usually I'm experimenting. Everything is an experiment. And I hope my video camera that is recording because I need to put this on my YouTube. Sometimes I drink water just to surprise my liver. <laughs> Would be my case if I was an alcoholic. No, I'm not an alcoholic, no worry. Back to some classical, um, still romantic music, I mean romantic era, which is between 1850 to 1920. Uh, uh, Chopin. Chopin composed, you know, Chopin was a virtuoso of the piano, he composed waltzes, nocturnes, mazurkas, uh, concertas, and etudes, or studies. Etudes, a French word for studies. Originally, we meant exercises to develop dexterity and virtuosity and technique. This one. So I will play this, uh, this very difficult etude by Frederick Chopin.
you, thank you. That was an etude by Chopin, one of his 24 etudes. Very difficult pieces. Did you count all the mistakes? No. Now, some, some of you might know where I'm from, I don't know if I say it, but um, where do you think I'm from? My name is Grigenzo Verde. Where do you think I'm from? Some people think I'm from Eastern Europe. From Turkey! <laughs> Some people think I'm from Turkey. Seriously, I get all the time Turkey, Hungary, Serbia, Ukraine. Florida. Ukraine. Yeah. What do you say? Florida. Florida. No, sometimes I get Mongolia, <laughs> Democratic Republic of Congo, this kind of thing. But no, I'm from Italy. I'm Italian. Wow. Napoli, Naples. Uh, first of all, let me ask you uh, how many of people from the US here? Clapping. Okay. Yeah. And the rest, uh, Canada, just say, just, uh, just to know. You're from US? Oh, okay. So anyway, uh, who's been uh, to Italy once? At least once? A few of you. Naples, Napoli. And let me give a tribute to my city, Napoli. I will play now, Napolitan Talente. about Greeks yeah. and it really started calling me it's like there was a wildfire I, I read the BBC news every morning from my phone also the TV so I was also gonna say a joke about Greeks but I'm not so. and uh, I feel so sorry and so but I will still play a song that um, it's the first time I play on a stage and I perform for people well, usually I perform in lounges around the ship. So it's a nice song you might recognize, you may have heard, but maybe you don't know the name of. It's called Mizir Lu. Have you heard? It's a traditional song from the Eastern Mediterranean region, influenced by Middle Eastern music. Some has like Oriental melody type, like a Arabic belly dancing song. It will suggest this kind of images. There are many Jewish, Armenian, and Turkish versions. So the, 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 the folk origin is not well established it's somewhere Egypt or Asia Minor. So Mizirlu means Egyptian girl and derives from Arabic word, etc. Et so, and you will also recognize it from, uh, from a movie. I will tell you this later. So let's see how it goes with this piano solo conception of this beautiful song.
Uh, this was um, there was a rock version that gained popularity through its use in the 1994 Quentin Tarantino film Pulp Fiction. I don't know, but it was like a rock, surf rock of Russia. Way faster. Um, now, for those interested in purchasing my CD, I don't have any CD, but you can still go on Amazon.com and you can buy anything from Amazon. So I still don't have a CD also on Amazon. But I have a YouTube channel, as I say, so you can check out the... Uh, I got uh, videos mainly of myself playing piano and lounges and piano beats from the show. And um, I also have another uh, YouTube channel where I talk and I cover topics, what I do, you know, the how-to videos. Uh, for example, I have a video where I talk about how to apply liquid lipstick, <laughs> or how to give a medicine to a cat, how to become... Uh, how to train to become a sumo wrestler and how to prepare spare pork ribs barbecue. So if you're interested in that, you can check out my YouTube channel. But no, mainly it's about the piano, so check out my YouTube channel, Crescenzo Verde, I don't know, it's uh, difficult to explain. But by the way, Crescenzo is my real name, my real birth certificate name, and some people think it's a stage name, but it was my, my father who gave me after his father, my grandfather. And several male cousins have the same name, but I'm the only pianist musician who uh, travels on ships. My father was also uh, not a pianist, but he was a singer. He was a singer of uh, Neapolitan folk songs. If you don't know, we have a tradition of uh, Neapolitan songs for over 150 years. Beautiful songs, sometimes unknown to Italians as well. But in Naples, they are they're well known. There's a strong tradition of a thousand singers, songwriters. So my father introduced me to this world of music and through connection I started cruise ships and I'm here thanks to him. Now, uh, we, we're almost, um, we have only 45 or 50 minutes so I'll try, I don't know if I can play everything, probably I have to skip some pieces. Uh, let me play one, one more song that is fun to play, let's see if you recognize it. experimenting, I never played this one. I've even been discouraged by professional musicians, entertainers, and managers in the past. They say, oh no, don't play the chicken dance. It's a, a silly, stupid song. I said, you can do anything if you believe you can do it. And so I did it, and uh, I might be deported to North Korea. <laughs> I asked my North Korea friend how it was to live in North Korea. He said he could complain. He can't complain. No. Not at all. Okay, we are at the end of this show. If you should I be at the end of the show? I can go on with many other pieces. Um, I want to thank first of all uh, the entertaining team who gave me the opportunity to be here on this stage to perform. The music manager, entertainment director, cruise director, and everybody. I also want to thank um, all of you here for being here, who gave me support. So give yourself a round of applause. But again, so if everyone now can just pick up two chairs before you leave, we can get this place cleaned up a lot quicker. Thanks also to the technical production team in the booth. They set up, they set up the stage here. And thanks to everyone who works on the ship. Thanks, uh, thanks also to me that I was the one who played and everything. <laughs> 
and other people who gave support and contribution to this show. Um, the bartender. The bar oh, the bar sub. Yeah, I, I even wrote it down to thank them, and you remind me. Thank you. If you want, you can read it. I wrote it down. See, you can scroll down, bartenders. And I even wrote down the accommodation and buffet stewards. These are the greatest people on board. And who else? I want to first. I also. I want to also thank the the first minister of Taiwan. <laughs> the, the president of the United States. Uh, I don't know if you like Donald Trump. I kind of like it. I can. I don't know. But I'm mean, Italian. Who likes Donald Trump? Who voted for Donald Trump? Few. Okay. That's good. Just I'm curious. Uh, who else should, oh, and I want to thank, uh, that's it. The last piece for tonight is going to be Franz Liszt. You know, Franz Liszt, Hungarian virtuoso. He toured the Europe in the 19th century. He was a prolific composer of the 19th century and he composed many great virtuoso pieces and uh, well known on his uh, 19 Hungarian Rhapsody, very popular, is number two. So, which one do you think I'm gonna play? Number six. <laughs> and thank you, a good night. I remember I play around the ship in several other lounges, sometimes uh, often in Piazza, and sometimes at Crooners, uh, Will House. When you, whenever you want, I'm there to play some beautiful music. And uh, thank you and good night.